Reactions have continued to trail the increasing rate of insecurity across the nation, especially the Greenfield University students who were kidnapped by gunmen last week in Kaduna State. Well, the state government has confirmed that some of the students have been killed by the abductees. On Plus TV Africa, The Breakfast Show, the former DSS director gives rescue tips, urges government to shun political statement. Our correspondent Jacinta Obioku has more. Kidnappers have ramped up attacks in recent months, hoping to be paid ransom for the release of their captives. But some authorities like Kaduna State Government have vowed not to pay them. Schools targeted in Nigeria are usually in remote areas where students stay in dormitories with only watchmen for security, making them easier targets. A former Department of State Services director, Dennis Macri, believes the government is not using the right approach in dealing with the issues of kidnapping. We are not pursuing this thing systematically. We are doing a haphazard job. We're doing the right things at the same time. We're doing the wrong things at the same time. So we don't have results. Some Nigerians across the street gave their suggestions on what should be done to tackle insecurity. The security of the state is in their hand. That is why we the elected, we put them there. If they are doing nothing, what is the purpose, their purpose of being at the seat of office? If they make up their mind to, to, to tackle this insecurity, I think they will find a lasting solution to it. You know, simple arithmetic. Think of uh, this is insecurity, this is what is happening. These people are attacking my people. How do I prevent my people? If you have the feelings of your people at heart, then you should be able to do something tangible. Everybody is just praying to God for protection. If you go out and you come back home peacefully, you give thanks to your Lord. The former DSS director also shares some of the tips the government should engage in to lay hold of the menace. In kidnap situations, the hardest part is to take the money, is to take the money. It's not the kidnapping part, it's taking the money. And with that, you can have back notes. You can have back notes so that if they take the money, you will follow the money and of course arrest all the people that are involved. These are things that can be done. In this particular case, a response team that will go for such a rescue should have already been in the field. Since December 2020, according to UN agency UNICEF, about 730 students have been abducted in Nigeria, disrupting the studies of more than 5 million children. Jacinta Ubuku reporting for PLOS TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.